In a previous video, we looked at what to consider when working with animated GIFs uh, in Doodly. So here is a finished project with some finished animations. So as you can see, pretty basic animations, just animated backgrounds with the doodly assets placed on top. So let's have a look and see how all of that fits together inside doodly. So here we are inside the doodly project. We're on the first slide in the presentation and we'll see that the characteristics of working with GIFs uh, prevail. So the first thing to look at is that is the animated GIF that forms the background with the black and the turquoise at the bottom and the text, this might just work. And once again, we've made use of delays to bring in the doodly assets. If we look at the second slide, similar layout. We have the animated GIF in the background. We've set the animation to run at 0.1 seconds. And then we've given a delay to the next asset to get the timing right for the rest of the items that need to come into the presentation. The same with the slide with the stripes from left to right, together we can do more. Same rules apply. We have the animation coming in and then a delay to time the rest of the assets coming into the project. And the final slide was a slide created within the Doodly platform. All the animations were created using a software program called OpenTunes and the animations were very basic, very simple. We'll make it for Instagram, Facebook, nice square one, and let's call that template 2. Hit create. Right, here we are inside Doodly. The first thing I like to do is go to scene settings and extend the end of the scene by at least five seconds. That to facilitate the initial animation and also just add a little bit of time at the end if we're doing a preview. Right, so we have that added. I'll then move along to my assets folder, categories, my library, and here I have different animations. Uh, if we go down, I've called them template one, two, three, not very descriptive names. And let's have a look. Let's go with template one. As you can see, you have no way of knowing what it is, as there's no preview for that. We'll let that be imported. If you want to know what's in that animation, hit preview. And there you see the animation from the top and the bottom. That looks great. Perfect. Let's change that to 0 0.1. And let's go in and change the size. So it was created to fit on this canvas. So we'll call that just to make sure it fits and doesn't um, and make sure it fits properly in that space. We make it 1010 pixels, apply, and then position it nicely on the screen. And let's just make that zero on the, I don't know why that changed. Right, there we have, so we know that the animation is there. And now we need to add in our first content element. In this case, we're going to add some props in. We can add anything that we want. So let's put in something. Right, let's put her in the picture. Now we still don't know when the animation will be ready for a prop, but having made the animation, I know that about two and a half seconds should do, and it's also adding some text. The text we had previously was 
this could work or we could say are you ready and we're done and we know that we're going to need to make that quite nice and big make that nice and big and we know that it has a black background with the animation so what we'll do is we'll go in and change the color of that text to white and that's more or less where it's going to fit let's do a quick preview the animation is going to come in now you'll see it's taking a really long time to show on the screen and yeah that that's not going to work so the first thing we do is instead of allowing it three seconds to render that first scene we change that to 0 0.1 which means that the animation now will start the moment the scene starts that has been delayed and I generally don't make it longer than 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 because it draws with a slightly uh, speckled white edge when it draws in the image it um, doesn't look very good so let's leave that at three seconds and you'll see what I mean and then we have the text coming in now if we preview you'll see that the animation starts straight away sometimes it shows immediately like that and you'll see that's not a really nice look for drawing so what we're also going to do is disable the hand we'll come in and say no hand and apply and we'll also We've changed that to two and a half, and maybe we'll delay that by 0.5. So let's have a look and see what we have now. The animation is there. Still taking too long for her to render, even though there's nobody else in the picture. Let's make that 0.1. Right, so now if we preview, we have the animation that'll come in. She will appear and we have are you ready so we have a pretty good idea where the text is and maybe you want to add somebody else so let's see if there's another baseball player all right we have another baseball player what we'll do is we'll have the one figure straddle the two colors just to give it a little bit of interest and then we'll make it a bit smaller so that gives the impression of depth and creating a line to show the perspective so now we have a picture showing that there's a bit of depth and that the person up front is getting ready to play some ball right let's have another preview ah, doesn't look so good if the person's been drawn in so let's change that to 0 0.1 as well so now when the scene comes together very quickly drawn and are you ready? We'll be. We'll move that down to the bottom. We can save that. The only way to see now what the scene looks like is to actually render the scene. So if we export that, save, and we say continue. Continue. Sometimes it does stop rendering for whatever reason in the process. Normally selecting it a second time will resolve that issue. On the only occasion where the animation has stalled in rendering, it's been due to lack of hard drive space. So if that does happen, one place to look and just make sure that you have enough space on your hard drive for the video. That's done. We click on Show Exported File, Template 2. All right, so there we have it. Let's play that again. Right, so you get the idea of how that is, but it. Yeah, so that's the
kind of video. So it's a pretty good idea if you know the animation time, then you can create your, your video knowing how long the animation takes. We'll quickly render that. If that happens, hit continue. It'll try it again. Not sure what the reason is, but sometimes multiple renderings are required in order for the video to be created. That done, let's show exported file. Comes in a little bit faster. Are you ready? That just to give an idea of what's possible. You saw a white border around the animation. That's just to do with the positioning. We move that over and that should resolve the white border. What we can also do if we want to be 100% sure is we can and apply that. So there you have it. If we now export that, That now complete. Let's have a look. The white border down the side is gone and in comes the image and there you have it. And just to have another look, this is what we have. So, right. Well, that's how you do it. If you're looking at bringing in animated GIFs, just need to get your timing right. Know what the animation is. You'll be fine.